Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Crossing Souls. It's uh, not a Souls game. <laughs> if it was, I'd be really impressed. This is a lot of pink for a Souls game. Um, but uh, it's uh, about the 80s. And switching dimensions? I don't know. It should be fun. This story takes place in a small town in California, right at the beginning of 1986. Chris! Chris! <sighs> Wake up! Come on! Ah, uh, what the hell, Kevin? What have you been up to? You're not gonna believe this, Chris! It's amazing! Cut it out. Mom will be mad if you're not back for breakfast. Listen! Get the gang, gang together in the treehouse. I have something incredible to show you. If this is one of your stupid jokes, you better get ready, Squirt. This time it's important, man. Honest. And stop calling me Squirt. I'm nearly ten. Alright, alright. Wait for me. What? There. While I pick up Matt, Big Joe, and Charlie. Hurry! I think it's starting to rot. It smells awful, man. What? Over and out! Why does he always have to get himself into trouble? What a way to start the summer. Alright. So, oh, sh we can jump? That's unusual. So we've got... Characters. It doesn't look like... Okay, observe. King of Pop. So we can observe certain things. Gulp, gulp. Reminds me of... Uh, this really reminds me of Hive Swap, actually. Just the, the style. But I guess, I mean, they're both trying to evoke the same thing, sorta. Sorta. My big... Br my brother's bed. It's always so full of crumbs and crisps. Mom's gonna be so mad. Last night, Kevin and I were finally about to get past Boy Icarus, but the storm ruined the game. I'm not supposed to be playing that late, so we didn't say anything and pretended we were asleep. Ah, it's not working. Storm cut out loads of electrical devices. What is the green drippy goop? I have no idea. Wait, what is my dad up to in the yard? I should go see what's going on. He's usually busy with his flowers, not standing there for no reason. How many things can I observe? Too many, apparently. Someday I'll sail a ship like this and discover an island full of treasures. It's no joke, my dad says there's still treasure buried in the Atlantic. Well, you're bound for disappointment, kid. I wonder how old Chris is supposed to be. I don't know. I don't feel like doing that now. <laughs> I can apparently... Okay. A load of contemporary history exams corrected by my dad. All failed. Ooh. My mom's finishing up her first book, The Walking Castle. It's about a castle with legs that's owned by a strange young magician. Oh, Howl's Moving Castle. Cute. Seems like a nice family. Except for the dad, he's a dick. Failure, failure except for everybody? That's, that's never a good sign. My grandpa Stefan was a war hero. They gave him so many medals that my dad had to buy this stand just to hang them all. I had one teacher in school who failed everybody. I don't know why. I don't know why teachers are allowed to just fail everybody just because they feel like it. It's either, if your entire class fails, you're teaching wrong, probably. My dad was a world-class batter until he was injured at a fancy dress party. It's not easy being Tarzan for the day. To Wilton's... Brothers. My brothers in arms. Chris is supposed to be about 15. Makes sense. But yeah, I... Like, I totally understand, like, being tough on students, and I kind of wish, like, uh, my teacher was... Some of my teachers were tougher. We had one kid that would, like, actively steal artwork uh, from other people. He'd trace photographs and so on and so forth. And he got, like, straight A's. And it's like, why? 
But then we had like this other guy who's just like, nope, F's for everybody. And you're like, why? Why would you do that? Big Joe lost this ball in one of our bets. I take any challenge seriously, especially if Charlie's watching. Okay, so like I'm just I'm just looking at everything before I go, so I don't have to look at it again. Some recorded movies, Bust and Ghost, Thing, Miami Hills Cops. Yeah, so most of these are going to be, of course, kind of referential to other games, but not quite. Best Friends, Chris, 1980. So that's six years ago. Good morning, son. Seems your brother has escaped through the window again to mess around. He's a lost cause. Don't worry, Mom. I'll bring him back safe and sound. You two will be the death of me one of these days. Anyway, your father has been waiting for you in the garden all morning. He's pretty excited, I think. He has a gift for you. For me? Awesome. Let's see what it is. Oh, we go out this way. Got it. There's my little guy. So, looking forward to your vacation? Yeah, Dad. I'm meeting up with the guys and Kevin. Kevin? As your brother stuck out again, I didn't see him leave. Since Sparky died, he's brought nothing but trouble to this family. Anyway, what are your plans for today? Mmm, you know, just the usual stuff. <laughs> A little bas baseball, nothing out of the ordinary. Did you need anything, Dad? You see, Chris, when I was your age, your grandpa made this baseball bat for me just before he left for the war. I know there are better family heirlooms, but this bat is special. I scored some of the best home runs of my youth with it, and it's time for it to keep making history in your hands. Chris Williams. This guy is agile, quick and brave like no other. Using his baseball bat and climbing skills, there's no challenge too big for him. Wow, it's amazing. Thanks, Dad. Let me show you a few tricks. At school, I was the best batter in my class. Head over to the batter's mound. Once you're there, we'll start the lesson. Just a few quick pitches to practice that swing. Observe. If you hit at the right time, you can knock back projectiles. By holding left trigger, you'll anchor your character. You'll be able to knock back projectiles in the selected direction. Okay. Great, son! I see you inherited the Williams family genes. Now go, enjoy summer, and oh, do me a favor. Uh, take care of your brother, please. Try and keep him away tr from trouble. Okay, Dad. It's interesting that the ten-year-old little brother is the, uh, the problem child. I guess that's not that uncommon, but usually it's, you know, the little kid can do no wrong, and the older kid is, you know, the troublemaker. Oh well. The barbecues in the garden are legendary. We always end up lying out on the grass, ready to burst. People are now arguing about school. I'll get to that when we're not observing everything. It's, I mean, it was our dog Sparky's house. As soon as we got home from school, we'd run to the garden and throw his ball as high as we could until he jumped over our heads. It was amazing. Kevin would take him everywhere he went. Uh, there were two peas in a pod, but one day, uh, Sparky disappeared. They found him dead. Some idiot run him, ran him over. Come on, son. We all love Sparky, but life goes on. We'll buy an another dog at Christmas. Your brother will love him. Dad, Kevin doesn't want another dog. He wants Sparky back. Oh, Sparkly back. We're not miracle workers, son. I know. I guess not. Oh, it is Sparky. It looks like there's an L in there for some reason. Okay. Oh, lawnmower that I can look at. I'd rather stay away from the lawnmower. Whenever I get close, I end up having to mow the entire lawn. <laughs> Yeah, so as far as, like, school... Oh, nope, never mind. You already leaving? Wait up. Hey, I can't find your brother. I think he snuck out again. Uh, maybe. So, do you have any idea where that brother of yours has gotten to? Yeah, he's at the treehouse. I'm gonna go to get the other guys and head over there. Hmm. You know I don't like you guys going into the woods. Oh, well, never mind. Go and find your brother before he gets in any trouble. Don't worry, he's probably just throwing stones at poor, uh, some poor animal or setting off firecrackers and some shit somewhere. Watch your mouth, young man. You don't want to start your vacation grounded, do you? Pfft. No. O okay, I'm going. See you later. Okay, but be careful, and don't even think about taking the shortcut. I've got a bad feeling about that old hermit. I'm sure he smokes hippie grass. Okay, Mom, right. I'm out of here. See you later. Okay, uh, can I go... Can I go into the garage and grab stuff? I'm never going to be able to commentate. I'm going to be too busy reading, aren't I? 
There's so many tools here that you could build a spaceship without ever having to leave the garage. Bike. When I get home from school, the first thing I do is clean the, my BMX and get it ready. I have to be prepared for any mission that comes my way. I do not have an accurate read on this character's personality yet. We'll get there. Okay, don't forget to save your progress. If you come across one of these floppy disks, don't think twice and save your game. Do you want to save your progress? Hell yeah. Nope. That was... N okay. I have to press down. There we go. So is there anything for me to, like, specifically look at? Nah, not overwhelmingly. We've got people working on that. Oh, can I, can I jump over the gate? No, I can't jump over the gate. So just to finish my thought about, like, grading and stuff, I totally understand, like, giving bad grades and stuff, but it just always bugs me when a teacher only gives bad grades, because uh, that means that they're just kind of being abusive with uh, what power they have. Because uh, if, you know, a couple of people fail here and there, you know, that's their problem. But when everybody fails, either you're a really bad teacher or you somehow ended up with the worst class ever. Anyway, let's keep talking to people. Don't bother us. We got a lot of work to do. What happened here? Last night's lightning storm created a lot of problems around town. We're still assessing the damage. Bam. Wham. Nope. It's kind of hoping uh, stuff would just break. Hello. What is this? That's creepy. Where are we and what's going on? Wow, this canary looks like it suffered a pretty bad heart attack. Uh-oh. Grr, woof, woof. Oh. Observe. There's a coffee cup pouring itself on the... Wait. What is going on here? It's a... Uh, this is really weird. Uh. I'll call someone tomorrow. Who are you gonna call? I look in the yellow pages. There's furniture moving companies, but no listing of strange phenomena. They're here. What? Who? The TV people. Yeah, of course. I don't know why, but I feel like something strange is going on here. I feel like I'm not supposed to be in this room yet, but supernatural phenomenon right immediately. Yes. Right off the bat, immediately. I don't know. Whatever. Words. Words are hard sometimes. Observe. Looks like the Freeman decided to build a pool in their yard. We should probably find the rest of the cast, but like, <laughs> heck if I know where they are. Can I hop in the car? No, I can't. That's unfortunate. I'll just keep wandering around. Ah, stupid lightning storm. I hope the power comes back on so I can hear Johnny's voice again. And I can't go in her house. Well, 11 and 12. Well, that should just be all. You have to be prepared just in case. I don't know what could happen after last night's storm. There's a lot of just suburbia here. Beware of the goat. My neighbor Sid has a pet goat. He's crazy. Oh, those are rocks. I thought those were like giant turd nuggets all over the place, and I got kind of worried. Oh. What's up? Are you coming to give me a hand? Hi, Mr. Wilson. No, I was just passing by. Of course you were. Kids nowadays only know about being on the streets. Uh, well, at least you're out getting some sun. I'm sure all kids in the future will be glued to those video game gadgets. <laughs> it was different back in my day. At your age, I was already a full-grown man, you know? I started working on... Let's leave before it's too late. Screw you, Mr. Whoa! Oh no! Help! Matt, what the heck is that? Chris, just in time, the energy limiter is damaged and I can't stop shooting gamma rays. Destroy the three generators before it destroys the neighborhood. Is this a dude or a chi- I have no idea. Well, time to break stuff. It's a dude. Okay. Pfft, that was close. A minute longer in the neighborhood would have been burnt to a crisp. Wait, what's this new gadget of yours? It's a gamma booster, a new component I'm working on. But I've just used my last gamma bars, at least until I got my laser gun. Oh, I've still got my laser gun. Cool. Might come in handy because we need to get to the treehouse right away. Uh, right away, Matt. Kevin is one of his investigations again. This time it seems important. Uh huh. Okay, it'll be be good a uh, good way to try out my laser gun. Yeah, but now you're coming with me. Matt has joined the party. Okay, that was weird. Matthew Bauer. 
A little genius, his laser gun, jetpack, and intellect make him a unique specimen, both inside and outside the group. How do I switch characters? Why am I... Why am I perpetually rolling? I didn't realize I had the... Uh... Hmm. Warning, danger. Hmm, still... Uh, it's still a shortcut. The end justifies the means. Okay, so we are in permanent roll mode. Can I... Okay, now I have stopped permanently rolling. Observe. Remember that you can always change character by pressing left bumper. Pew pew. Ah, uh, what else do we have? I can flash? Okay. How do I roll again? Wait. How did I roll? That's not one of the abilities that are listed on anywhere. What? Can't go through here. The road's closed for repairs. Lightning struck here a few times, did you know? But I'm sorry, you'll have to take a detour if you want to get to the square. You can take the shortcut to the west. Yeah, how did I roll? I was in like perma roll mode. Oh. I think Matt runs faster. I could be wrong. It feels like he does. Well, let's see what we can find in here. Right stick is dodge. Is it? Matthew, why don't you stop making those silly toys and invest, invent something that's actually useful? Your inventions just don't live up to the Bauer name. But Dad, Gamma Rays. Gamma Rays, reading comics is bringing your IQ down. At your age, I'd already taken my first steps on ARPANET. Don't be so hard on him, Joshua. The boy is to discover new fields and something applicable to biology wouldn't be so terrible. But Heather, don't mislead the boy. What the Matt needs to do is study robotics. That's the future. Don't worry, Mom. Someday I'll make you both... Uh, someday I'll make something you'll both be proud of. Of course you will. Go out and have fun for the rest of the day. The air quality is exquisite today. You spoil him, him too much, Heather. And he won't ever become anyone. Wow. Inventor Dad is a douche. Baseball Historian Dad isn't that much better, but... Inventor Dad is just... Ah. This modern... Modem emits a high-frequency sinusoidal electrical signal, and its bandwidth, frequency, and phase have all been modified. Basically, it allows my computers to communicate with one another. P P poop Knowing Matt, there will be things in here of blowing, things in here capable of blowing the neighborhood six ways from Sunday. Best not touch anything without his permission. Well, let's switch the map. Here's where I store my chemical materials at sub-zero temperatures. Nobody can open it without my author authorization. Tesla. Tesla. What else have we got? Matt's family tree. Is the entire family made, of, made up of short-sighted scientists? My family's full of renowned scientists and doctors. They're all here, starting with my great-grandfather. I don't have time for child's play, Matt. You should be studying quantum physics instead of wasting time with your little friends. Eh. Not now. I'm busy with some tests. Why don't you go outside? My husband's a little stressed today. Well, actually, he's always stressed. Don't listen to your father, Matthew. But you know how he is about studying. But I know you'll go very far, son. Thanks, Mom. I'll make sure I'll make you guys proud of me one day. Of course you will, son. Okay, and nothing else. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? I'm just going to keep looking at things because we probably won't get the chance later. I built a thermo thermohydrograph and connected it to an ionized ray receiver so it not only can capture lightning, but then convert it into the energy to charge my device's batteries. Pew, pew, break all the boxes. Oh, shoot, we took damage somehow? Oh, no, Matt took damage somehow. Well, this is cool. I love the art style for this game. It's very charming. I mean... I'm trying to think of, like, what specifically it reminds me of. It reminds me of Dropsy. Sort of. Chris is able to climb certain surfaces. Press B once to hold on to a climbing surfaces, and then A to jump. Oh! It is the right stick to dodge. And so I can just dodge in a direction. Oh, and you run out of stamina. 
But each character has their own stamina bars. Okay, that's interesting. Does Matt Shot have friendly fire? I don't think so, mainly just because I don't think there's anybody to friendly fire. Chris can leap from one climbing surface to another. While climbing, okay. Figured as much. Anything over here? The answer is no. Oops. Right. Forgot. Have to press the B button to actually climb. If I don't do that, it's nothing. Oh, but I have to press the B button again. Gotcha. And I only have to press the B button once here. Okay, this makes sense. An impossible leap? That would be no problem for Matt. Hold down A to glide with him. Ah. Looks like it. Oh, yeah, it runs out of stamina, of course. Yep. It's nice out today, right? Nothing could ruin it for me. Yeah. I took a bit of a shortcut. See, there's a third party member you needed. Did you get everything? Uh, it looks like I'm gonna ha have to get the other party members elsewhere. Screw you, watermelons! Oh, okay. We actually destroyed them. Screw you, hermit! You'll starve for winter! Ooh, heart. Yes. Did that heal Matt? No, it did not. Okay, so that's, that's important. Health does not carry over between, uh, characters. But yeah, I need three more party members, but I have to get them later. If you press X, you'll be able to shoot shoot with Matt by holding left. Okay, it's the same thing. Explosive barrels? No explosive barrels. Explode anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. Matt has an automatic radar. Press left trigger once to activate it. While active, it will automatically target the closest objective. To deactivate the radar, okay. Okay. Rats! Uh oh. Ow, ow. I tried jumping. It was a mistake. Actually, kind of seems like jumping might be the wiser... Wiser of options. Let's try Chris next. Baseball bats may be a little bit more useful for rats and stuff like that. So it'll take a little bit of getting used to uh, how the various characters play. Cat! Cat is not killable. Surprising nobody, honestly. Uh, high voltage? Maybe Matt won't know what to do with this thingy. These electrical switches are activated by receiving a good discharge of electricity. I could try shooting at it with my laser gun. Let's see. Wow. This morning's storm has destroyed the town. Even the police are working today. Of course! It was one hell of a storm, Chris. How do you think I managed to charge my ray? With everything that's going on, you could have made yourself your very own Frankenstein. Okay, let's go look for Big Joe. He must be at, at home uptown, behind the main square. Kevin was heading north this morning. Don't know what might be there. I want to save my progress. Yes. I do wish saving was a little bit faster. And then I asked how that could be. I haven't even been there this afternoon. Okay, meaningless. Okay, wait in line if you want to go in. What if I just want to go in now? Not now, kids. I'm trying to fix this. The storm screwed up the lights, and I have to find the issue if I want to open up Invader's Arcade today. Help. We can help you if you want. Nah, I got this covered. It's pretty easy. I just have to join the blue and the red cables. Then I have to cut the grounding and pays in the box now. Wait, wouldn't that cause a short circuit? Are you sure you got this? For sure. Of, of course. Anyway, if you want, it's not like I'm asking for your help or anything, but if you want, you could go to the meter room. Maybe you'll see something weird. I'm not saying I have no idea. It's just I haven't been in there yet. Yeah, that's it. 
All hands on deck? Okay. I'll get it. I'll go to the meter room. So it looks like uh, we do have some like side questy type things to do. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Sweet. Window breaker, window breaker boy. You've received a new video game. Okay. Oh. I see how this works. Okay, there's one, two. This is kind of clever. This is kind of clever. Can I can I shoot? No, I can't shoot while rocket shooting. Uh, shooting, shooting. That's not how lasers work. I wouldn't question it too much. That should do the trick. All it needed was a little extra juice. Let's see if this works now. Wow, that was fast. Hey, Wyatt, I think we fixed it. Wait, what are you talking about? All I, I did it all by myself. Wyatt always has everything under control. But we did it. I'm so good. Uh, I'm so good, not even I can believe it. Honestly, my mom used to say, Wyatt, you're a genius. Yeah, if only my mom had supported me. Are you deaf or something? We fixed it, man. I'm the king of electronics. Someday I'll be an IT wizard. Yep, I'm gonna go far. It's useless. He's out of it. He must be high. We should make the most of it and help ourselves to the tip jar. Hey, hey, hey. Don't even think about it. Leave your spare change on the jar, or I won't let you go too far. Laters, Wyatt. Oh, screw that guy. Do we get to... Can I play any of these? Gods will be watching. Probably the hardest game in Invaders Arcade. I don't even want to think about how much money Wyatt's made on this machine. Not enough. Mother Russia Bleeds is the only game not recommended for players under 25. So, cute little, uh, cute little Devolver Digital references. But somebody gave me Gods Will Be Watching a while back, and I never actually got around to playing it. Kind of wish I had, uh, had the chance. I heard it was good. It's real and good game. Yeah, so is Mother Russia Bleeds. Most, uh, most Devolver Digital games are actually, like, pretty dang good. Uh, they're a little hit hit miss. Some of them I don't like as much. Like I wasn't a big fan of Dropsy. Okay, so I'm probably not going to talk to everyone because holy crap, that's a lot to get through. I'm going to focus on objectives. Hey, Big Joe, you come to the treehouse? My stupid brother snuck into the woods again. He says he's found something. He's found something he wants to show us. Cool! Uh, let's go before... Don't move a muscle, young man. You're not going anywhere until you finish helping me unload and put these boxes away. B Mom! But nothing. Not until you finish helping me. Sorry, boys, but that's the way it has to be. This lazy oaf has spent the entire morning trying to get out of work. No worries, Mrs. Carter. We understand. We'll wait here until Big Joe finishes. And we can all go together. You see? I wish you were as obedient as Matthew. Thanks, Matt. Next time, shut your trap. Yeah, Mom, I'll finish up right away. I won't be long, guys. Big Joe Carter. This big guy is all about brute, fo brute force. Never underestimate the power of a good smack. In addition to his ability to move heavy objects. Big Joe is the strongest guy in the gang. Use him to drag heavy objects. Okay, B to just drag. Oops. Oh, that's what I have to do. I was hoping it would be a little bit more, like, free and as far as movement goes. But it ain't. Oh, well. Okay, all done. Can I go now? You see? There is no need for all that fussing. Yeah, you can go. Have a nice day, have a good day, boys, and don't stay out too late. I suck at voice acting. I can, like, do a couple of voices. I'm working on it. I'll latch on to a couple. Okay, we've already seen this. Aerobic fitness. Not going to do that. Okay. So he's got punches. Sort of directional punches. What is that? It's like a block? And he has quite the, uh, quite the role. 
Okay, so where do we go next? Observe. You, the neighborhood. Oh, this is kind of cool. Tajunga. That's a name. Okay, so where do we go next? There is no place in town for irresponsible people like you. Like me? No, not like you. Like him. Leave me alone, please, sir. I'm going to lose my job. Ha! Ah, I hope you do. That way, no more children will go missing. Sir, what seems to be the problem here? You're too young to remember. There was an incident with a bus a few years ago. The school bus full of children disappeared. My son was on that bus. The driver was drunk. I've been looking into it. That man had a dark past. I can't let it happen again. I understand, but Ed's a good man. I'll be the one to decide that. Yeah, I think I'm going to give Big Joe kind of like the not confident with himself voice, maybe. We'll go with there. Is that him getting ready to counter? Could be. It would maybe make sense. Director. Hey guys, what's going on here? I thought that school would be the last place kids would come during summer vacation. Oh, yep. That's a very delayed roll. Sometimes they'll just like kind of... Just not even flick this stick, but Big Joe looks hella confident. Oh, God damn it! I don't... No, I don't have any other controllers plugged in. I'm not pressing the stick at this point. Help. Okay, there we go. That's a weird... That is a weird bug. Maybe it might be sticky directionals? I hope not. I mean, it could be. I could always switch controllers if I had to. No, why is it doing it again? I... <laughs> ah! Okay, uh... Shoot. I'm gonna have to switch controllers. Let's try this one. Hopefully it will accept the other one. And not just take the inputs from it. Okay. Okay, this actually does feel better on my hands. Well, I can go in other directions. What's up with these guys? Well, 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 what do we have here, boys? Crap, it's Quincy Queen. Let's get out of here, Chris. Where are you running off to so quickly? Oh, it's just Qu Chris. Ta ta ta. When will you learn, Hotshot? I thought you were cool. Why do you hang out with these losers? Who are you calling losers, bro? You guys, dipshit. And don't speak to Quincy Queen again, unless Quincy Queen speaks to you first. You gotta be kidding me. Chill out, Big J. We don't want to spend any more time here than we have to. That's right. You don't want to be around me longer than you have to. Wait, what? Very funny. Nice sense of humor you've got yourself there. It's me that doesn't want to be around losers like you. Listen, Chris, drop these dickheads and join us. To Jungle Royalty, the baddest and toughest guys in town, with me, Quincy Queen, as your leader. Nothing will stand in our way. Think about it. The town at our feet, us as their king and queen. Ew, I'll pass. Thanks. Anyway, you gross me out a bit. Gross you out? Well, I'll be damned. Honestly, I'm heartbroken. Fine, have it your way. This was your last chance to join us. You're either with Quincy Queen or against him. Boys, teach him a lesson. What? Laters, losers. Enjoy the hospitality of the Purple Skulls. Catch you later. Okay. Wha-bam! Oh, holy crap! Big Joe is, uh, not for show. Stupid Quincy Queen, always annoying everybody. He's such a nuisance, he thinks he owns the town. Yeah, but from now on, we'll have to be careful with the pr purple skulls. That sounded like an ultimatum. Yeah, we'll have to keep a uh, lookout. Okay, let's head over and pick up Charlie. Kevin's been waiting for ages.